Johan Oviedo has been a big contributor out of the Cardinal bullpen. And Johan, in your your last outing, you got hit by a wicked line drive right in the hand. How is the hand? Well, um, you know, the hand right now feels great. Um, you know, Adam and every uh, trainer has been take, taking care of me. So right now I'm glad and happy that everything's fine so I can keep working. Now, you wanted to stay in that game, and it was a scary moment for anyone that witnessed it, but you said you weren't scared because it happened so quickly. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have time to really react to that ball. I just put my hands in there, but, yeah, I, I, I really I really want to, you know, help the team in that situation. I know they need a, a big house in there, so I didn't want to, you know, give up and try to do my, you know, and give my 100%, but um, thankfully, you know, Nell came and get out of the inning, so that was that was good. I also got a double play, so it was it was good. It was great. <laughs> get a double play. So you've been very good out of the bullpen. In terms of preparation, how different is what you're doing now being a reliever compared to when you were a starter? Um, I got to give a big shout-out to the coaches. Uh, every staff member has been uh, – for their, I mean, it's been there for me, uh, helping me with the plan, with the routine, and I feel like everyone's pushing me to, um, you know, um, be where I, where, I, where I am right now, and uh, you know, just not thinking too much about anything out there. Just enjoy the game, try to have fun, and you know, just try to win the game. So, earlier this season. You talk about an emotional moment after 24 appearances in the big leagues, 19 as a starter. You got that first big league win. So I always like to ask about the commemorative ball from that game that they lettered and made display ready. I wondered, are you going to share the ball, give it to your parents? Are you going to keep it for yourself? Have you made a decision? Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm definitely going to share uh, that win with, with my family. I can't wait to go back to Cuba and show my mom and dad. But I'm probably, you know, you're gonna keep that ball. I can I'm tell. Keep, <laughs> I'm probably gonna keep it. So, but um, you know, my goal is bring my family next year from Cuba. So, you know, if we all live it together, so I will have a room with jerseys and, you know, big, uh, I don't know, balls or first right guy or whatever. And I think it will be cool for me and my family to, you know, just enjoy that moment. That would be awesome if you can get your family over here. So, obviously, you're close with them. How are they able to follow what you're doing as a major leaguer in Cuba? I have a cousin in here. Um, he lives in Miami. He he send any stats um, to my family just because they can track the games, just because it's hard to see in there. So he sent pictures, uh, all the information, some videos. He grab it. Uh, he you know he record uh, to, from the TV and send it to him. He can send this interview to them. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, they will be happy. Even if they don't understand what, we, what we're saying right now, they will be happy to see you, though. Just wave to them, though. Say hi. Say hi to your family. Hi, Mama. I love you. All right, last thing. So, you're in St. Louis. My guess is there isn't a ton of Cuban food, Cuban restaurants available, but you told me you just found one. I found one, man. Finally, you know, I've been here since 2020 and didn't find any uh, Cuban restaurant, but right now it's one really close to here. It calls Havana. It's right next to it's in downtown, and, and I like it. There's really good persons in there, and, and you know, I'm really happy to have some Cuban food. What's what's your meal of choice there? Anything. Whatever they may, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep eating, keep pitching well, and we appreciate the time. Thank you, James. Okay. All right, guys, we send it back to you.